How to Draw a Frog Video 3 One of the things that came to mind was why are there so many people out there in the world that want to know how to draw a frog? So I was asking around about the possibilities, uh, talking to my students, talking to my friends, and one of my students had the brilliant idea that perhaps many, many, many people of those, many, many, many of the people out there that ask how to draw a frog are working on middle school, high school, maybe even college projects. They need to draw the frog for their presentation. <laughs> it makes sense. It really does. And what it does is it lets us know that drawing and, and doing art is a part of science also. Um, for me, art and science, music, they're all together as one big piece of life that need to be a part of each other. One of the things that I remember about frogs is that growing up in Minnesota, they were easy to catch. And at certain times of the year, there were these little, tiny, tiny little frogs that would be everywhere. It would feel like there were millions and millions and millions of them. And uh, they were especially around the lakes. And it was really, really fun to just as a, watch my son when he was a toddler be able to actually catch a frog because it was there were so many of them, and it was easy to catch. Myself, when I was little... I would take my sisters on hikes down to the river and through the parks and stuff, and um, there were these leopard frogs. They were so beautiful, and they, they, they were fun to be around because they seemed happy. Anyway, we would usually catch at least one leopard frog while we were out walking around. So that brings us to the actual drawing of, of the frog. The frogs, frogs are really pretty simple. Um, it's, they're very geometric, as I, it are many, many things out there. there. You look for the circles, the squares, the cylinders, the rectangles, all of that. Frogs are triangular as a primary part of who they are because that's what their head is. Their head is triangular. They have circular eyes that are full circles, not just uh, flat circles, like three-dimensional circles. And um, then they are very um, fluid. They have these muscles that will jump and go, and, and there's a, a wonderful fluidity about how the rest of the frog's body can move. Um, the head is not that way because there's a bone that is underneath the, the jaw, it's a jawbone, and it, um, it has this nice rigidity to it that makes us see that triangular shape. The colors, there are so many colors of frogs in the world. The poisonous ones, the fun ones like the leopard frogs, tree frogs like the one I drew for this demonstration. I think maybe that's part of what people like about them. And the other thing that was pointed out to me uh, by a friend of mine, is the sound of the frogs at night as I'm falling asleep because it's like um, comforting and it makes it easier to fall asleep. So for some reason, or for a lot of reasons, frogs are a big part of what makes us happy. Perhaps that's why also that so many people want to be able to know how to draw a frog. Maybe a little happiness is brought into their lives. Enjoy. See you next time.